Hey guys, I'm Brian with Obedia and PC Audio Labs, and today I'm going to answer some of your questions about Cakewalk by BandLab. I've done a couple videos about Cakewalk by BandLab, and it's definitely a digital audio workstation that people are getting pretty excited about. And so uh, we're having fun talking about it over here at Obedia and PC Audio Labs, and I'm going to answer some of the questions that I have been getting from a lot of folks to see if I can help folks out there out. The first question that I've been getting, this is probably the most popular question, is if I previously owned Sonar Platinum, what's going to happen now with Cakewalk by BandLab? Now, Again, as I've talked about in past videos, we are not employees of BandLab nor Cakewalk here at Obedia and PC Audio Labs. We just happen to know a lot about digital audio hardware and software. So these uh, things could change, basically. But I'm going to tell you this. If you previously owned the free lifetime upgrades and updates option for Sonar Platinum, that has gone away because Sonar Platinum does not exist anymore. And that's just really the basic breakdown of it. Sonar Platinum is not, it does not exist anymore. It still exists if you have it installed on your computer uh, and you can still download it and you can still uh, run it and install it and activate it and everything else because one of the things that uh, even when Gibson shut down Cakewalk, one of the things that was true uh, that, that was said was that the servers would continue to run and would allow you to activate your software. And that is true. Uh, I logged in to my Cakewalk Command Center account just today, actually, and all my software is still there, and I could continue to download it, install it, activate it, and use it if I wanted to. But keep in mind, it's going to be out of date. So what does that mean? Uh, that means that you should go ahead and get Cakewalk by BandLab because that's going to be the, be the most up-to-date version. Now, more technically, Cakewalk by BandLab is a upgrade to Cakewalk Sonar, so it's really just the next step. But there are some distinct differences, and that's going to be what I'm going to cover in the next question right now. What happened to a lot of the third-party add-ons and software and VSTs and things like that that were coming with uh, Sonar Platinum previously? Well, right now, those add-ons, I haven't seen them with Cakewalk by BandLab, such as Rapture, Dimension. Uh, I haven't seen those there. Now, again, this could change. Remember, everything is still pretty new right now. This is still pretty fresh. Cakewalk by BandLab has not been out for too long. So don't fret. Uh, I think that we're, you know, I'm going to say that potentially we're going to see things change, but I can't say anything because, again, I don't know the roadmap right now. But one thing that's important to remember was that when Cakewalk by BandLab was announced uh, and when BandLab was, was sending out emails to let everyone know that they should create BandLab accounts that used the original email address that you used for your Cakewalk account, when that was happening... Uh, the intention there was, from everything that we have seen, to basically link up those accounts and link up all that software that you previously had. So if you had those previous plugins and things like that, um, they should carry over in a lot of ways. I can tell you that if they're installed on your computer, to Rapture, Dimension, things like that, I have seen those working in my own version of Cakewalk by BandLab that's installed on my PC. So... It shouldn't be a problem. You know, plugins and VST plugins, things like that, everything works in Cakewalk by BandLab. As for that software, we don't really know. It remains to be seen, but as I say, give it a little bit of time, and I think you'll probably see, uh, you know, some changes. Again, I can't say what's on the horizon, but I'm sure we're going to see some changes coming. Do VST plugins work? Do third party plugins work? Yes, they totally work. That's one of the really excellent things about Cakewalk by BandLab. Uh, is that VST plugins, third-party plugins work. It's not feature-limited. It is not a version of the software that doesn't allow you to use plugins and things like that. You can use your plugins in Cakewalk by BandLab, which is a pretty phenomenal thing. So yes, you can use them. You just need to make sure that you set your paths properly. If you want to know how to set your VST paths, we've got a video that will show you how to do that. Uh, in our Getting Started with Cakewalk by BandLab video to show you real quickly how you can set your VST location settings in Cakewalk. How is there not a catch here? Uh, is this really free? There's no way it could be free. I've been hearing a lot of various things like this. 
Everything that I have seen, guys, points to yes, this is free. It's a free, full-featured digital audio workstation. It is the next iteration of Sonar. It's, it's the advancement. It's the next latest, greatest thing. And yes, it is free. I haven't seen any catches, and I don't expect there to be any. And I really think that what we have here is a really great way for, for folks to get into the world of digital, digital audio music production and do it at no cost to be able to start exploring and then to be able to start doing things like, yes, purchasing add-ons, purchasing VST plugins, purchasing loops, things along those lines. You know, keep in mind, the music software business is a small business and it is one that is run typically by a small group of very dedicated people. That was one of the things that a lot of people were pretty upset about when they heard that uh, Cakewalk was going away because the team was going to be going away as well. And that's a team that's been dedicated to music production in the world of digital audio music production for quite some time. And so a lot of people were pretty sad about that. And because this is a small industry when you break it right down. And so remember, it's worth it to go out and buy cool plugins, buy loop libraries, buy things that support software developers and makers out there. Just remember that while there are really great free options and it's really awesome to have this super cool free option, there are ways that you can contribute to this world really easily. If you even go to BandLab and you create a BandLab account, you'll find that you can tip other creators on BandLab. You can tip them for the things that they make and you can get tips as well, which is really cool. So this is a great way to create a viable ecosystem for creatives on the internet. So I, I definitely encourage you to check that out. But the bottom line is, yes, this software is free. I haven't seen any hitches or any gotchas or anything else. Download it and you can start using it. Is Cakewalk by BandLab 32-bit compatible? And no, it is not. You need to use Cakewalk by BandLab in a 64-bit environment. So if you have Windows 32-bit, a, a flavor of Windows 32-bit installed, you're not going to be able to use Cakewalk by BandLab. But honestly, at this point in the game, there's really no reason to not have a 64-bit installation of Windows because the bottom line is you're going to want the power that comes with a 64-bit installation because you'll be able to access more than 4 gigabytes of physical RAM inside of your PC. So if it's time to upgrade your PC and get a proper Pro Audio PC, check out PC Audio Labs because that's what we do at Obedient PC Audio Labs is we build the world's best pro audio PCs for you to make music on. What about my old projects, my old project templates? What about my old customizations and things like that? Do those all carry over into Cakewalk by BandLab? I have been able to open old uh, Sonar projects without any issue in Cakewalk by BandLab, so that has been no problem. Uh, I did see a lot of my previous settings carry over in to Cakewalk by BandLab. There were a few things that I had to tweak here and there, but it gave me an opportunity to really go back and look at my configuration and see if there's anything I want to change. One thing that some folks have brought up that they have wondered about is what about themes, themes that maybe they created or downloaded, things along those lines. There's only two themes that come with Cakewalk by BandLab, and uh, if you want to use other themes, you need to copy those from your themes folder in your previous version of Sonar and into a themes folder that works for Cakewalk by BandLab. We will, make it, we will be making a video that will show you how to do that so you can carry over previous themes if you want to. But everything else I've seen is that everything else has carried over without any issue. My plugins have scanned just fine and I haven't run into any problems as of yet. And the last question I've been getting a lot has been, if I have a previous version of Sonar installed on my PC, can I install that version alongside Cakewalk by BandLab? And the answer is yes, you can. On my own PC, I have Sonar Platinum installed. I also have Sonar X3 installed. That shows you how long I go back. In fact, I think I have Sonar X1 installed, and I may even have Sonar version 8, Producer 8 installed on my PC. So I have a lot of previous versions of Sonar, guys. And I've seen no issues with being able to open those versions while also being able to then go and open Cakewalk 
by Band Lab. So I haven't had any any issues with respect to that. Yes, as as far as I can tell, you can have all of these different versions installed alongside each other without any issue. So there you have it, guys. That is just some of the most popular questions that I have been getting, that we've been getting here at Obedia PC Audio Labs about Cakewalk by Band Lab. I'm sure there's going to be other questions, so if you have them, make sure to leave them in the comment section of this video. Even better, give us a call at Obedient PC Audio Labs or visit our website. Find out how you can work one-on-one -on -one with a professional digital audio trainer just like myself and our team here at Obedia PC Audio Labs. We will show you how to get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software and tame your technology because that is what we do best at Obedia and PC Audio Labs. As always, everyone, thank you for tuning in. Until next time, happy music making to you and take care. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.